My name is John Smithson and for most of my working life I've worked for BBC Television Service. As a crew of about 20 guys we worked on the whole range of programmes and you got to know where you were going by consulting the crew sheet and all it would say on there was go to Studio D at Lime Grove. So we went there and there was sets we'd never seen the like of and this floor manager standing in the middle of them we said what's all this nonsense and he said this programme, he said, if it's a success, it may go on for a very long time. We said, oh yes, well let's get on with it and get home. William Hartnell was everybody's actor. He was there on time, went for tea with the rest of us and shared a few reminiscences. Came back, did his show and went home. He was no difficulty whatsoever. He would turn out a proper job for you. I think he was a reliable actor. As regards mistakes on the set, you could say there were a few technical hold-ups. One technical mistake, which is a, a, a man in an ant suit running off set straight into camera which I, either he or I suspect he shouldn't have been there or the camera should have been there or a combination of both but I would have thought uh, it quite a usable shot. The Daleks were definitely a, a, a big factor in, in, the, in the success of the Doctor Who programs no, no doubt about it. Sometimes when we'd be arriving early and you glance in there, there'd be the Daleks for the day parked and it was eerie. The Daleks basically, as you might well imagine, are small people and they rather like to be left alone. Whether or not they thought that if their performance wasn't up to it, they wouldn't be kept on. I don't know. But uh, we rarely saw them. They had to have assistance to lift their lids so they could um, get out. <laughs> By making what we did out of so little. I'm very very proud of what I, what I did started, starting that off and all the crews that came after us.